Keep yourself updated. Subscribe to Vedanta and click bell icon. Hi friends, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss about commonly used functions of Excel in all sectors. Those are sum, average, multiplication, division, percentage and all. So let us start by calculating sum. Yes, in Excel application, we use the sum calculation, sum calculation in many ways that based on the input. So now you may see that here the input is available only in two cells and here the input is available in a single column sequence and here the input is available in a single row sequence and here the input is available in multiple column ranges. So we used to, we always used to change the formula that based on input, right? So first let us calculating by using only two strings. Two strings are also known as two cells, right? So when there is a small range, you no need to use the actual sum formula. So directly you, you may use the plus sign instead of using sum function, right? So let us start calculating sum. So here I would like to calculate what is 120 plus 120. Now there is only two ranges. So here just start the formula by using equals to. Equal indicate that system understand we are going to start a formula. If you do not use the equal, system understand the formula as a text or number. Equal indicate that we are starting a formula. Correct? Yes. So equals to. See, before starting that I will just show the name box. What is the 120 address? The 120 address is that A3, column number A, row number 3. And what is the one more 120 address? It's about column number A and row number 4. If you know the addresses, directly just start the equals to, equals to, what is the first 120 address? A3 plus again A4. So you are, you, if you know the address directly, if you know the address directly, you just enter the cell reference addresses. For example, when you don't know about the addresses, simply, so after starting the formula, sel simply select string number 1 plus string number 2. So when you select this string, automatically Excel catch up the addresses and directly press enter. So what is the formula now? E equals to A3 plus A4 e equals to string 1 address plus string 2 address and directly press enter and the result is 240 rupees. So we use this formula when there is a small sequences, right? So here we are going to do one more thing that is that see we have the input in a single columnar range. So in these cases we cannot start, we cannot calculate like this how e equals to what is address 120 plus 120 plus 120. This is highly difficult. So we are going to use the actual sum formula, right? So directly just start e equals to sum open bracket e equals to sum open bracket just directly select the total range select the total range select the total range and close bracket what is the formula e equals to sum open bracket and select simply select the range if it is in a single sequence right and instead of select if you see now here there is a, there is a small range so you can simply drag down the mouse from up to down right so that it is easy so when there is a larger data in that cases instead of instead of dragging like this you simply enter simply enter in that range what is the first cell address what is the first cell address that is d3 and use the sign colon Colon indicate there is a continuity. What is what is colon means? Colon means continuity. D32 up to what? What is the last one? So the, the last cell address is that D12. So e equals to sum from where D3 continued to D12 and simply close the bracket here and press enter. So this is how the total is a total 1200, right? And there is a another way that how we can do. So now here I'm going to show one more way that how we can calculate the uh, sum in, the, in in these cases. So simply activate this cell. Simply activate plus one cell of the range. Simply activate plus one cell of the range and go to home menu. And here next to the sigma sign, there is a down down handler is there. Simply click on the down handler and here select sum. So when you select sum, automatically the sum will be auto calculated to the respect range, and the formula is also auto populated and directly press enter. And here the same same total 1200, right? So here also simply and now here again there is the same sequence range. So e equals to sum 
open bracket again select the range or enter the address or enter the cell addresses manually equal to some d17 continuation to k17 and close the bracket and this is the result total is 960 right so now we are going to i would like to get the answer of range 1 range 2 and range 3 in this cell so simply activate this cell so here the start the formula equals to sum sum open bracket equals to sum open bracket and select range 1 select range 1 comma select range 2 select range 2 comma select range 3 now there is no any other range right so here directly you may close so equals to some range 1 address comma range 2 address comma range 3 address and directly close the bracket the total sum of the three ranges is 3240 so this is how we calculate the sum formula in many ways that based on input available so friends now let us just continue with the same common formulas of excel so next we are going to discuss about the subtraction so very simple there is no exact formula and there is no special formula for subtraction there is that we can use only minus sign for the subtraction very simple simply just start the formula a equals to higher value minus lower value higher value minus lower value and directly press enter and the now 100 minus 10 the answer is 90 so there is no specified formula for the subtraction there is only minus sign for subtraction right so next we'll just understand that how we calculate multiplication in excel application so very simple so i just want to know what is the result of 4 into 5 so directly wherever you like to get the result just activate the cell first by using equal sign and just simply select string number 1 into and here the student are getting confused by using x or star so in your keyboard you do not press x just press from the newer keyboard just press only star right so equals to a3 into that means star and again b3 so here the result is 4 into 5 4 into 5 is a total the result is 20 right and here we also discuss about next one is that product see what is the product what is product product is a formula which is used to multiply all arguments in a range and also known as repeat addition very simple i just want to know what is 100 into 100 result again that result into 100 that result again into 100 so i, I would like to get a repeat addition with the uh, with with continuous multiplication right so here the formula is at e equals to pro just simply type product simply type product and select the whole range and directly close the bracket and the total result is total see 100 into 100 10,000 10,000 into 100 1 lakh 1 lakh into 100 1 crore right so this is how it works thank you so friends now we will just discuss about the division very simple i would like to share uh, 100 rupees to the three people so in that case uh, we use we just use see there is no again specified formula for division we just use a slash sign from the keyboard so simply select e equals to select the input value and use the slash for division and select the uh, number of sheet that uh, number of sheet that you want to so here i just want to know what is 100 by 3 so the the result is 33.33 rupees right so next we'll just come back to learn about the uh, percentage so here a student mr x is getting 550 marks out of 600 so i would like to know the, what is the percentage of these 550 out of 600 very simple select the total marks secured by total marks secured by total marks into 100 total marks secured by total total marks secured by total maximum marks into 100 and the result is in the percentage the percentage of 550 out of 600 is 91.6 percentage and next i would like to get the average a student is gaining around the marks of 80 and 30 and 64 and 15 and 19 and 100 in the respectives from respective from subject 1 to subject 6 i just want to know what is the average marks of this student when we compare all the subjects right so simply use the use the formula equals to average a v e r a g average so simply start the formula by using equals to average and select the six subjects 
six, six subjects and simply close the bracket and the average marks of the student is 63.16 right so here we are we are typing the formulas right so if you like to view the formula that what we typed simply select the cell address select activate the cell first and directly press f2 f2 is a is a function key which shows active formula in that selective cell right so here i would like to i would like to view a formula of these 63 so directly press f2 here and again if you wanted to know the formula of some directly there also simply select the uh, activate the cell first and directly press f2 so if you, whenever you press f2 system shows the list of inputs at the same time for including formula so here we can see the list of in here so in this formula here we added we have taken inputs from three ranges and the formula is that equals to range number one comma range number two comma range number three so this is how we works on excel thank you thanks for watching keep yourself updated subscribe to vedanta and click bell icon